Welcome to Grey on Map. We are asked to solve this problem. There are three semicircles. The largest radius is 5. What is the combined area of the orange region? But before we go to the solution, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And also, please watch until the end of the video to get how this is done. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we need to label the lengths that we need or the dimensions in general. Okay, so this length, let us call this diameter as A. And this length, let us call this diameter, and which is also the leg of this right triangle inscribed in the semicircle as B. And we call this diameter of the largest semicircle as C. Okay, so next thing that we need to do is we need to make an equation about the area that we are looking for. So we are looking for the orange area. Let us call this as the shaded region. Area is H. It is equal to the area total, or area T, we can call it that way, minus the area of the unshaded region. Okay. Okay, so next is we get the total area, the area concerned. So we can say that this whole figure is composed of a semicircle with a radius or diameter A, and that would be pi over 4 times D squared or the diameter square, and that would be A. And you need to multiply this by 1 half. Because we are getting only a semicircle, then you need to square this plus one half again because it is a semicircle, but this time for B square. Then next is we uh, add the area of this triangle and that would be one half a b and this is only for the total then since we are actually looking for the orange then from the total we need to subtract the area of the biggest semicircle to get the orange as you can see so we need to subtract one half since again, this is a semicircle, pi over 4, times d square, I mean, oh yes, d square, but the diameter square is equal to c square. Okay. So next is we multiply this 4 times 2. This would be 8, this would be 8, and this would be 8. Okay, so next is we group the terms with similar coefficients so we can actually factor out pi over 8 and inside this pi over 8 we have a square plus b square minus c square and we do not let this one have a b to be in that group because there is no pi over 8 and so you can see, this figure is a right triangle. So A and B are the legs of this right triangle. So A square plus B square is actually C square. And we just cancel this. Okay. And this becomes zero. So the area of the <coughs> shaded region that we are looking for is equal to one half a b area okay so next is we find the values of a and b 
and for the values of a and b we need to actually draw the semicircle to be a whole circle and notice that since this is a right triangle you can actually draw a mirror of this right triangle but actually not a mirror that is exactly on the opposite but if we get this as our reference line the mirror line then this line here should be corresponding to this line and we draw a line that corresponds to one leg of the triangle okay so this should be a also and this should be b also and they have a common hypotenuse which is c for the diameter of the circle okay so next thing that we need to do is we need to find this distance and this distance these distances are equal so we can label them as x for this and x for this and since this one unit length is actually a perpendicular bisector of this form then if we draw a line from that point then it will surely intersect to the center of the circle and therefore it will be the diameter or it is the diameter of the circle so if the diameter of the circle is 5 times 2 which is 10 then since the whole length is 10 then this partial length is 9 because 10 minus 1 is 9 so by intersecting chords theorem we can make an equation that We'll say that x times x is equal to 9 times 1. So x squared is equal to 9 and x is equal to 3. And notice that this leg is actually 2 times x. So this leg is actually b. So b is equal to 2 times 3 so b is equal to 6 and a by the Pythagorean theorem we have a is equal to the square of 10 square minus the sum so we need to the other leg that is 6 square and a is equal to 100 minus 36 and a is equal to square root of 64 so a is equal to 8 okay so for the final step is we are now ready to find the area of the shaded region and as we got earlier the area of the shaded region is equal to area of the triangle which is one half times a times b and since a is equal to 8 and b is equal to 6 then if we multiply this 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 times 6 then we have area shaded is equal to 24 square units that is our answer now thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye